you all see on the countdown net, Falcon 1 is airborne at this time. In the early days, it was very clear. It was like a David and Goliath story. You know, no privately developed launch vehicle company had ever achieved Earth orbit. Everybody tried and failed. I started within the first year of the program, and we were designing and building Falcon 1. The rocket was out on Omelak. It was so cool to go to this secluded place for work. All that was there was the launch pad, a very small hangar, an office trailer, and basically an outhouse for a bathroom. We would sleep under the stars sometimes, have a horrific sunburn sometimes. It was like uh, Omelette Survivor, we called it. And we were right there next to the rocket and the launch pad. Plus four, plus five. Living through the six. first few failures of Falcon 1 was really difficult. We literally had blood, sweat, and tears on that rocket. And then to see it come back down so quickly, it was heartbreaking. Flight 2 was disappointing because we made it almost all the way to orbit. We basically started spinning out of control once the vehicle was in space. But then Flight 3 was just so sad. To basically go through stage separation and then have the stages come back and recontact, that one hurt the most. We were essentially out of money at that time. We had had the three failures. But we luckily, we had had another kind of spare vehicle ready to go. We pushed super hard to get that vehicle ready. We rented a C-17 to fly the first stage and second stage over to Kwajalein instead of taking the three weeks on the barge. When we were landing, you know, we heard a loud pop. We looked back and saw that the first stage tanks had sunken in. I think we thought for sure we were done. I think we thought that was the end of SpaceX. We still felt like the underdogs. We still had everything to prove. So it was just like, nope, we're gonna fix it and we're gonna make this happen. Three weeks later, I think we had the first successful flight of Falcon 1. It worked. <laughs> we buckled the stage on the way to Kwajalein, and we still managed to get that rocket to orbit. So that gave us good confidence moving forward that we'd be able to get anything to orbit. For me, it was like a dream come true because it was something that we had been working so hard for for years, like since I started at SpaceX, and that we had seen so many failures for. I just felt validated and proud of the team for doing something that I think a lot of people didn't think was possible. <laughs>